Okay, so <clears throat> uh, today we will learn the chapter 22, Speciation. Uh, chapter 12, 2 is composed of five subjects starting from the spaces are reproductively isolated. And finally, we will learn the speciation rate is like this, okay? So post the war, we will learn the first subject Species are reproductively isolated lineage on the tree of life. Okay, so first one we have to know morphological species concept. So previously we learned that morphology is used to construct phylogenies, is like this. So at that time we learned that the skeletal system and the floral structure usually we used. To, uh, to use in the morphology. Okay, so what is the morphological spaces concept? Okay, morphological spaces concept describe the spaces based on morphology. However, there is a limitation of morphology. For example, males and females of spaces may be different. Okay. For example, these birds, so these birds, is a, they are same birds, this is male, okay, this bird is, comes from the, uh, Pennsylvania, and this bird comes from the Illinois, okay, they are same species, they are look similar, however, this bird is the female, okay, so there is big difference between male and female, isn't it? Okay, so because the morphological species concept, they have a limitation. Usually, the, uh, um, in many cases, males and female species may be different. Okay, so another species concept is biological species concept. Okay, for example, a group whose members have the potential to interbreed and produce fertile offspring. So I will show you one, one example, same species. For example, husky and bigger. So husky can interbreed with bigger. At that, they can produce fertile offspring. And so in this case, horsky and bigger, they belong to the same species, dog. They belong to dog species. However, in this case, wolf and fox, okay? So usually wolf cannot interbreed with fox. So usually the, uh, uh, so from the same ancestor, they divided to the wolf, dog, and fox. However, wolf cannot interbreed with a fox. So does a fox and wolf hybrid really exist? No. So because they are different species. Okay, this is one example. Same species and different species. Okay, so they can, they have to interbreed and have to they can produce the portal, portal of springs. Okay. Now is we will go to the second subject. Speciation is a natural consequence of population subdivision. So what is speciation? In Korean, we call it as a 종분하. So speciation is a natural consequence of population subdivision. Initially, we have the original population. Some region, for example, the geographical barrier, or there is some reproductive isolation. Now they will make the two species, species like this. So this is recorded as a speciation. <coughs> Now is the, for example, we have the 
uh, most of their students is 2002 belong to the 2002 biological department of biological sciences. Sciences now we are belong to here, but one part. So now we divided by two. One part I teach is biology one, uh, biology, and another professor teaches biology one. Okay, now they become I think a different species. I think this is example. Okay. <clears throat> now I will explain the another speciation model, Dobozhansky-Muller model. Okay, the Dobozhansky-Muller model is very difficult to understand. Even though you read all of the textbook, it is very difficult to understand. So now I summarize it. Okay, very simply summarize. Okay. Now they have the ancestral population. So their genotype, locus one, small a, small a, and locus two, they have a small b, small b. So ancestral population is subdivided. Okay, so they, uh, they make the two spaces. So now two group evolve independently, okay? In each lineage, for example, in this, in this subdivision, new alleles are at, arise at locus one, so they, they will become the large A, small A. Okay, in this subdivision, new alleles arise at locus two, so they become the large B, small B. Okay, so now is in each lineage, new alleles become fixed. They are fixed. No, now they, they, they will become the large A, large A. Another one, they become the large B, large B. New alleles become fixed. They are fixed at different loci. So in this case, new alleles at two row size, for example, large A, large A, and large B, large B, they are incompatible with one another. Okay, so initially they were small A, small A, small B, small B. So now they become the one become the large A, large A, small B, small B. Another becomes small A, small A, large B, large B. Okay, so after that, after, after the, this population, this population, when they make the baby, they will become the large A, small A, large B, small B. So in this hybrid, usually inviolable. And also sterile. They are not fertile. Okay, so there are many cases <laughs> It's very hot. Okay, 이야기 좀 해. 에어컨 안 나오고 이러면 있잖아. 동독금 내고 있는데 에어컨 안 나오고 이러면 덥잖아. Okay. 그 이야기 알겠지? Okay. Okay. So in this case, this hybrid. So this hybrid is in portal. So there are several cases in our, uh, in our, in our. Uh, this is the table one show that hybrid incompatibility gene. For example, TMY gene, so another gene when they are located together, pairs each other, so the male becomes the sterility. Male becomes the brim. So like this. Okay, so new allele sometimes new alleles at two different row size incompatible with one another. There is some cases is like this, so another cases is like this. Okay, so usually the hybrid, hybrid offspring is inviolable. 
or, or they are sterile. Sterile means that they are not fertile. They are not fertile. They are pudding. Okay? So it means that so these spaces become the one spaces, and this lineage become another spaces. Okay, so this is the dobozhansky muller model. So I simplified the explanation. So another example is a speciation by centric fusion. Okay, so this, uh, this is bad. The full name is Logista tumida, Logista tumida. So they are black winged, they have black wings, and they are, they are yellow bat. Okay, so this bat we call it as Logista tumida. Okay, and they have the 2N, 2N is a 34. For example, our Homo sapiens is 2N, is a 48. But this one is a 2N, is a 34, okay? Okay, so this Rosisa Tumida has a three one-armed chromosome. Usually the chromosome has two arms, upper arm and lower arms, but this species has three, one chromosome, the other chromosome, and the final chromosome. They have three one-armed chromosome is like this. So usually the this bed is the located is highly found in the Mexico region. Okay. Okay, so I will explain the example. So ancestral population is separated to into two two independent lineage. Okay, one case is the centric fusion between the chromosome one and chromosome two it happens. So it will create two arms chromosome is like this. So fusion one plus two becomes fixed. They are fixed. Another case is, is a different centric fusion between chromosome two and chromosome three. So fusion of chromosome two and three is fixed is like this. Okay. So usually, so for example, for example, you, so in this case, so in this case, uh, this is the, they are, they are two N, they are two N status. So they were, uh, after meiosis, they will make the sperm and egg. Okay, this is in normal cases. So after fertilization, Usually the DNA doubling is happens. After that, usually the uh, pairing of chromosome is happen during the uh, metaphase, uh, uh, metaphase one. Usually pairing of chromosome is happen like this. However, in this hybrid, for example, in this this lineage, okay, comes from like this. So this lineage become like this. This is two N status. After that, they will make the N. After meiosis, they will make a sperm or egg. After fertilization, after DNA doubling, after that, in this case, normal pairing of chromosome cannot occur is like this. Usually should be occurs like this. But in this case, is normal pairing of a chromosome cannot occur. So in this hybrid, so they cannot make a hybrid. Okay, it means that this lineage become one species, and this lineage becomes another species. So this is the example of speciation by centric fusion. Because the, this word, normal pairing of chromosome cannot occur in hybrids, it's very difficult to understand. So I made this figure. I made it. Okay. 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 
Okay, and also reproductive isolation increase with a genetic divergence. Okay, for example, okay, so genetically similar pair of species, they have a little reproductive isolation. However, genetically, uh, the X axis is increasing genetic divergence and the Y axis is increasing reproductive isolation. Okay, so usually the genetically distant pairs of species show high reproductive isolation. Okay, so this is the, the example, okay. Now we will go to the third subject, speciation may occur through geographic isolation or sympathy. Uh, now we will post cover ge geographic isolation. Okay, geographic isolation. So it will make the allopathic speciation. In Korean, we call it as 이소적 종부나, different location speciation. Allopatric speciation means that different location speciation. So usually the allopatric speciation occurs when population are separated by physical barrier. The physical barrier means that uh, including the continental drift, or sea level changes, or glacier advance and retreat. Okay. So usually the before glaciation. Okay. So this is the Northern America. Okay. Uh, they have lakes, very big lakes. Okay. So in these cases, the, they are not separated. Okay. However. Uh, so in, this is in Pilocene periods. So in Pilocene period, there are lots of mammals. Okay, but 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 at Pilocene period, the glaciation happens. So glaciation make the make the one lake they are they are separated each other. One one lake, another lake, and the final lake is like this. So one common lake is separated to three individual <coughs> lakes. So it means that environmental differences, so they will make the independent lakes. So they cause these isolated population to, store, to evolve differently. Initially, they are looks different. So initially, they are, they are common. They are same species, from same species. Now with lakes, is they are separate each other. So the species is the diverse like this. Okay, so this is the example of the allopatric speciation. Different geographic isolation make the different species is like this. Okay. Okay, so found event is also similar to geographic isolation. Okay, so I will, sh I will give you the example. So found event is also belong to allopatric speciation. So let me explain the, the one example. So this is the Hawaii. So Hawaii, in the bottom of the Hawaii, they have a hot spot. Not even nowadays, they have the volcanoes happen it's like this. Okay, so this is the plate or direction of plate movement. Okay, so usually the Kaui, Kaui is the oldest Iceland, uh, the, the Iceland. This is the second oldest, and this is the medium, Maui. Finally, the main Hawaii is the newly formed Iceland. Okay, so, so in this case, initially, this is the oldest 
island, okay, at that new island is formed, okay, so initially the one draws pillar, one put flies move to the new, new formed island, okay, so usually the uh, one draws pillar go to the another island. So this is recorded as pound event. Okay, so newly founded population don't always represent the exact same as original population. Okay, so now they are, they go to different islands, but they are far away from each other. This is, they will make the allopatric speciation. So nowadays the Hawaiian islands Nowadays, they have the 800 species of Drospilla because of the pound event or the allopatric speciation. Because of allopatric speciation, so now Hawaii have the 800 species of Drospilla. Okay, so this is another example of geographic isolation. Okay. Final example is that Darwin pinches. Allostratic speciation among Darwin's pinches. This is Darwin pinches. Okay, or we call it as Galapagos pinches. Okay, so this is the Galapagos Islands. So each island is far away from each other. They are isolated from each other. So there is a, usually there is a little migration among them because they are far away from each other. Okay. So this is the allopatric speciation example. For example, one peach is moved from one island to another island. Now is allopatric speciation happens. So it means that adaptation to the environment. For example, one, one island, they have lots of insect. Another island, they have a lot of seed. So another island, they have a lot of cactus, cactus, soninjang, cactus seeds. And another island, they have the birds and fruit. So now the Darwin's pinches evolve to the different species. Now they will become the different species is like this. So this is another final example of allostatic speciation. Okay. Now I will explain the sympatry Sympatry, okay. So sympatric speciation in Korean we call it as dongsojok chongfuna. Dongso, same places speciation. Sympatric speciation. So usually the speciation, sympatric speciation occurs without physical barrier. Usually the Sympatric speciation most commonly occurs by polyploidy, it's like this. So usually the, this is our haploid and diploid, but sometimes triploid happens, three pairs of chromosome. This is, is one example of polyploidy. Sometimes they will make the four pairs of chromosome. This is the, another example of polyploidy. Okay, so when polyploid is happens, polyploid can make the flowers bigger, or fruit is bigger. Okay, another example of polyploid nowadays we eat the banana. Banana is like this. Their 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 diploid is like this. Now, but but. In this case, this banana is not sweet, it's not sweet. So people made another species, 
the banana. Nowadays, we eat this banana. They have the A, 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 polyploid. Now, the banana becomes very sweet. Okay, nowadays, we eat that banana. Their, their status is A, 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 the polyploid. Okay, so sympatric spatiation occurs without physical barrier. Okay. So this is the, <coughs> there are two kinds of the sympatric spatiation. One is the autopolyploidy, another is allopolyploidy. Autopolyploidy is means that, so this is the original 2N, but this one, polyploid becomes the 4N. So chromosome duplication within a single space is recorded as autopolyploidy. But sometimes the sympatric spatiation happen between two spaces is like this. So usually in my genetics class, I explain it very detailedly, but today I will not explain in detail. Okay. But initially, this space is, one space is, has 2n is 4, another is 2n is 6. There are several things happens, but I, I cannot, I will not explain the details, but they will, finally they will make the 2n is 10 is like this. Okay, so they will make the another spaces. Allopolyploid, allopolyploid combining chromosome from two spaces. Initially, 2n is 4, 2n is 6, 2, 4 plus 6 becomes 2n is 10 is like this. This is another example of polyploidy. Okay, allopolyploidy, combining chromosome from two spaces. Okay. So, in this subject, we, we, we cover spatiation due to the geographic isolation. We call it as allopatric. We call it allopatric spatiation. One example is like this. Another example we can see in Hawaii, Hawaiian fruit flies. The final example is Darwin's pinches. Okay, so we also cover sympatric spatiation. Usually the sympatric spatiation occurs by polyploidy. Polyploidy is composed of autopolyploidy and allopolyploidy is like this. Now we will go to the first subject. Reproductive isolation is reinforced when a diverging space is coming to in contact. So I will show you some example. One is prezygotic isolating mechanism. Okay. okay. There are mechanical isolation is happens and also temporal isolation of breeding season. And also there is a behavior isolation. But final one is postzygotic. Now we will cover the prezygotic first. So this is the prezygotic isolation mechanism. First one is mechanical isolation. Okay, what is mechanical isolation? Yojung, Okay, so mechanical isolation means that difference in size and shape of reproductive organs make mating impossible. Okay. So different in size and shape of reproductive organ makes mating impossible. One example is pinch and fruit flies. Fruit flies is very small, 
like this. Pinch is a little bit big. And their reproductive organ size is different. The shape is also different. Okay? So it means that mating is impossible. Another example is like this. This Upori apipera, uh, this is the one kind of uh, orchid. In Korean, orchid is we call it a nancho. Okay, this flower, okay, this flower look and smell like female bee. This flower is look like a female bee, uh, female bee. Okay. Okay, smell and look, smell like the female. A female bee is like this. Okay, now this is male. Only male of bee, this male of bee can collect and transfer the orchid's pollen. Okay, because this is look like the female, female, female. Only male of bee can collect and transfer of the this orchid, this this is pollen. So limitation of pollen transfer. For, 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 for example, butterfly, uh, butterfly cannot transfer the pollen of this one to another. Only this one. So limitation of pollen transfer calls these these species to evolve differently from related orchid spaces. So there are lots of orchid spaces. Hong Suyeon, okay, wake up, okay. There are lots of orchid spaces. Now these spaces evolve differently because of the limitation of pollen transfer. So this is an example of mechanical isolation. The very simple mechanical isolation is like this. Pinch and flute. A uh, fruit fly, the size and shape of the reproductive organ is different. It means that mating is impossible. Okay? So this is another example. Okay? So another prezygotic isolation mechanism, we call it as temporal isolation of breeding season. Okay? For example, this is one case is allopatric population, means that there are two populations, and there is also another geographic barrier. There become two, two population. This is recorded as allopatric population, so their location is different. For example, there are three species of frog. One is like this, another species is like this, and final space is like this. It means that allopatric means that they they are they live in different places. They live in different places. Okay, in this case, this is month from the January to December. So this is the frequency of egg rain. So the peak Breeding season of three species frogs are overlaps with each other. However, in sympatric population, for example, they are same three species, but they they stay they, they are they are stayed in one places. So in these cases, their peak breeding season of three species is different, is like this. Okay, so this is the prezygotic isolation mechanism. Temporal isolation of breeding season, especially the sympatric population. Okay, so temporal isolation is happens like this. Because of the 
there is the temporal isolation of breeding season. It means that sympatric population have pure opportunity to hybridize. Okay. Because their breeding season is different. Okay. So this is the, another example of pre-zygotic isolation. So final example of the behavioral isolation. Okay, uh, this is the one plug. Okay, this is another. Okay, there. This is the. Uh, this is male. This male plug has the. They have the breeding core. Okay, so male is a quack 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 like this. This is the, usually the breeding cores. Okay, so when whenever male quack quack quack, it means that I need female. Like okay, this is recorded as a breeding core. Okay, so breeding cores of male prog. Okay, so these species, their breeding cores frequency is very high. Another species. This is another species. Their breeding core frequency is very low. It means that female frogs ignores cores from the other species. Okay, because of this one, prezygotic isolation is happens. Okay, it means that these species only can mate each other, and these species only can mate each other. In this space, this space cannot hybridize, hybridize, okay? This is another example. Okay. Then, the, and also, now we, we will go to the post-zygotic. Previously, we learned the pre-zygotic. Now, we, 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 uh, we call it a post-zygotic isolation mechanism. Okay, so there are three mechanisms. So usually the hybrid zygote viability is very low. It means that zygote, hybrid zygote, fail to mature. Another example is, is that the hybrid adult, they have a low viability. It means that hybrid offsprings have lower survival rate. And the final example is hybrid infertility. For example, horse, horse and donkey, they mate each other. Now they become, they, they will, uh, their offspring is mules. In Korean, we call it as nose. So mule is infertile. They have the, uh, they, they are importer. Okay, so, so they cannot make the baby. So this is the post zygotic isolation mechanism. Okay. Now we will cover the hybrid zone. Okay, so there are very important terminology, hybrid zone. Okay, so for example, previously we covered that this species breeding cores is very, frequency is very high, and this species breeding core is frequency is very low. So there is a very little possibility to mate each other, but sometimes they mate each other. Okay, so they will make hybrid. Usually, the sometimes reproductive isolation is not perfect, so they will make the hybrid zone. So it means that closely related species may hybridize in area where their range overlaps, so resulting. So, for example, this third they have the. Or red, uh, yeah, red, and this one is they have the uh, the orange 
range, range belt toward. Okay, so this is their space is where they live. Okay, but sometimes these closely related spaces may hybridize in area, this area. So we call it as we, a hybrid zone. So usually the, this hybrid zone is very narrow because the, this, the, they, they make each other, so they make the hybrid. But sometimes, usually the hybrid have many defects. They cannot move very quickly. So usually hybrid never move far from their birthplace, so they will make the hybrid zone is like this. Okay, because they have the many defects. Okay, so because they, they move very slowly, usually the snail catch it very catch it. Okay. So so usually they make the hybrid zone is like this. If if they if hybrid don't have any defect, maybe their hybrid zone will be very wide or is like this. Usually the hybrid zone is very, very narrow because usually hybrid have many defects. Okay. Okay, now we will go to the uh, final subject. Speciation rate are highly variable across life. First example is, is the diet specialization. For example, herbivore, hobby, hobby this is insect which eat the, the leaf, which eat the herb. Another one we call it as the predator. This, this insect eat another insect is like this. So usually the herbivore, usually the specialized on one or few plant species. Okay, one, okay, one species of the herbivore only eat one species of the plant. Okay, for example, one example is, uh, no, we have the, a lot of pine tree. So one insect only eat pine tree. They, okay, another insect, another insect. Another tree's name is the more uh, popular. This insect is another insect is like this. So it means that usually the herbivore we call it as insect with a specialized diet. However, predator means that insect which eat another insect. Okay, so predator usually eat other insect. They don't have no speciation on insect. Okay, for example, this bigger bigger insect can the small insect, small insect, any space is fine. They, they can eat space, very small insect, insect, they can eat it. They can catch it, eat it, catch it, eat it, catch it, eat it. Okay, so this is the population with specialized diet are more likely to diverse. This is one example. From the common ancestor, okay, so this one is a hobby bear. So they make they have the one one thousand eight hundred species, but this this one is the predator. Ah, this one is another herbivore. They have ten thousand species, but this one is predator. One one is they have only one species, another one is they have only sixty species. So usually the diet specialization, uh, diet specialization make the different speciation rate, okay? Especially in herbivore, they have higher speciation rate. In predator, 
predator, they have a lower speciation rate. It's like this. Now we will go to the sexual selection can lead to the higher speciation rate. I will give you one example. Sexual dimorphic means that male and female looks different. So this is one case. Another case is like this is male and female. But sexual mono, monomorphic means that the male and the female, they are looks the same. First, we have to know one terminology, sexual dimorphic and sexual monomorphic. Another example is polygynous. Polygynous birds, this bird, polygynous has one male has multiple female partners like this. <coughs> oh. Another example of polygynous uh, means that, okay, so I, I graduated, uh, uh, my major was biology education in the Seoul National University. So I have the, I entered the 94. After that, uh, I go to 95, I go to the military. After that, I come back to 98. So, so when I come back to class, I, 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 my classmates, all of them is who entered 197, okay? This becomes my classmates. So usually our department has a lot of the female students. So we have, the, our total was 30. Usually the, our 20 students is females. Usually 10 is male. Sometimes the 25 or five is like this. At that time, when I come back to school, so I, make, I made a lot of female students cry. This is example, polygynous, okay? I made a lot of girl students cry, and they color each other like, like this. It's polygynous, okay? So one male have multiple female patterns, polygynous. Okay, so one example is, the, this is birds of paradise. Okay, so this is the, they are sexually dimorphic, and also they are polygynous. It means that their speciation rate are very higher, so they have the 33 species. So this is the manucord. They are closest relative of birds of paradise. They are very close to each other, they are relative but these species, they are sexually monomorphic and monogynous. Their speciation rate is, is very lower. Only five species is available. This is the, another example. Sexual selection can lead to the higher speciation rate. So this is another example result, okay? Now we will go to the rapid speciation can lead to the adaptive radiation. Okay, so what is adaptive radi radiation? Adaptive radiation means the proliferation of many species from a single ancestor. So from one species, they will they made a lot of a lot of species. So usually the rapid speciation can lead to the adaptive radiation. Okay. For example, this is the <coughs> one example. This is tarweed. This is tarweed. 
So <coughs> so this is North America, and this is Asia. Is like this. Hawaii is around here. Okay, so usually the power width is initially was here. So, so it was someday it, it it dropped into the ocean. So this seed is go to the Hawaii. Okay, so they are go to the here. But in Hawaii, initially it comes from volcano. So there is no. Uh, no, uh, no plant initially, but one become to the here. Okay, so they will uh, they will do the rapidly speciation. Rapid speciation happens. So one species now they will become twenty eight species of Hawaiian silverwood. Silverwood is come from the the one tarweed from the Pacific coast of North, North America. Okay, it's because the initial, the, because the rapid adapted, uh, rapid speciation happen, rapid speciation is happened because the, there is no, no plant initially. Like that, it will make the a lot of spaces is like this, so we call it as adaptive radiation. Radiation, radiation, adaptive radiation. So it will make the last of 28 spaces is like this. Okay. So rapid selection. Okay. Rapid selection means that they have a higher speciation rate. Okay, because of specific, uh, because of the Hawaii has, there is no plant initially. So they will make a rapid speciation, means that the speciation rate is very higher. So finally, they will make the adaptive radiation. Okay, it's very difficult to understand it, but I try to explain it very simply, okay? Okay, so do you have any other question today's lecture? Okay, it's done.